everyone, this is Julie Desjardins coming to you with Magic Money Mindset. Day 15, expect what you want. Now most of us in North America had experienced 2008. It was a rippled effect and it affected and infected it depressed, it oppressed, it repressed. It was the mindset of our economy. The economy dropped, did it? I didn't experience it till eventually 2010. I knew people were talking about it. I had clients who became paranoid about it hadn't actually hit them, but I heard them talk about it and then fall and then not show up anymore. Loyal clients that I'd had for years, it was slowly this just fear of losing money and people stopped spending because they were afraid. So then the economy started to suffer more and faster. And eventually I became convinced too. Maybe you experienced it. It was a mindset, an infection on society. Because the more we participate, the more we generate. And if we're afraid to spend, then our economy gets stagnant and stuck. And we, out of fear, do create a depression, an oppression, an economic failure, dysfunction. Often people say, oh, your own business. Oh, how's that going? Yeah, and you know what? I think eventually I got into a headspace where I did lock it. Even though I resisted that thought for a long time. Whatever. I could feel my strength. But you know, when I got weak, that infection of thinking, oh, my own business. I that that's hard to do especially if you're not an RMT but for many years it wasn't a problem and then I started compromising and then I started dysfunctioning because I gave in to the belief that you're right being an entrepreneur is difficult and it's not possible well then I observed that this is my passion this has worked for me regardless, and I am only taking a step back because I'm going to move it even further. I have been confused, perhaps, maybe because I wanted to guide others out of their confusion. Maybe because I wanted to have compassion and guide others out of that mental block or fear. I don't know exactly why my mind got infected, or why I slowed down, why I stiffened up, why my path became so cold and confused. But when I reflect on how I slowly was given into a negativity, it's just not like me, you know? And that's just sad. It's not too late to change. It's not too late to change. Change our expectations. Expect what you want. And instead of saying, oh, there, there's a bad economic situation. Oh, you can't get money out of that. Oh, you're going to have to put up with this. You're going to have to let that dream go because that's just not going to work in this day and age. Those are lies. And we don't have to believe those lies. We can expect what we want starting right now and that will activate a healthy magic money mindset and we can go forth in activating our dreams. And if you are drawn to activating your dreams and want to learn how to activate them through blogging, blogging your way about the passions, 
that you have, the dreams you have. If you want to earn an income through using the best blogging platform on the internet, if you want to be guided, if you want to market your business, if you want to be surrounded by coaches and mentors for 25 bucks a month, you can have your own blogging platform website that you can add as many businesses, as many blogs as you want in that one site that's yours. You can enter all the domains you want. Then you want to go to my link, confettiofcash.com, and you'll immediately be sending your email to me. And you will have immediate access to a video that's from a couple of my mentors and showing you what's possible in this day and age. Expect what you want. If you expect things you don't want, you're going to get them. This is Julie Desjardins coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. This is Magic Money Mindset, Day 15. Expect what you want.